by the program that we just punched in to um, remove effectively one of the delay loops um, so that you'll see the accumulator counting faster. And um, a interesting feature of the PDP-12 is when the link bit, which is sort of a, a 13th this bit of the accumulator, oh, thank you. Yep. Um, when that uh, is lit, uh, it will make the speaker click. So there's a speaker, this is actually a panel here, and there's a speaker, um, yeah. where is it? Right here. Oh yeah, so. so it's, yeah, it's actually a bit zero of the accumulator that controls it. Oh, the okay, link. okay, thank yep. you. Um, so when bit zero is lit, the speaker will click, um, but we're not getting there fast enough to make the demo interesting, so we're gonna uh, remove, or partly remove the delay from the code. So which instruction are we gonna change? Uh, so we'll change 5202 to 5201. So instead of jumping back to this increment, it'll actually just jump right back to the accumulator increment, um, which will speed things up now, a lot. Now, what's interesting about this is, remember that there are two delay loops here. So there's this one and this one. So if, if we jump back to 201 here, we're still going through this instruction 2207, which if you remember, um, increments address 207, and skips the next instruction when it's zero. So what that means is we're gonna loop through here 4096 times, but once this hits zero, we're gonna skip this instruction, and then we'll go through this uh, delay loop, which is another count to 4K. So in essence, we've you know removed one of the delay loops or, or changed that the first delay loop to only be the addition instruction. Um, so let's punch in the change, and then you can see how the behavior changes. So we'll go to address 203, and we have the 5202 still loaded, so we'll just change that to 5201. So now when we execute it, it'll count a lot faster and you'll hear the speaker clicking. So, cool. So now, um, another thing I wanted to show is um, how we can single step through uh, instructions. So what did you just push there? So I hit the single step switch. Okay. Um, so now every time I hit the continue switch, it'll cycle through uh, one step at a time. Okay. So... So this, we're in... So that there's the accumulator going up, and now we're in one of the... I believe that we changed, and then the accumulator goes up again. So this is showing the address of the instruction that's executing. Yep. Is that correct? Yep. And this is, uh, did I push something? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is showing the value of the uh, yeah. memory there. Yeah, so if we have, so if we're back at 201, and then we go to 202, which is the increment, and then so that increments 207, so that's just going to show us the 207 incremented. Mm -hmm. And then we go back to 203, which is going to have that jump back to 201, which then incremented the accumulator again. Cool. And then you can restart it from the wherever you stopped it, right? Yep, by just turning off single step and then getting started again. Cool. All right, so modifying, uh, punching in programs, um, running them, stopping them, modifying them in memory, and restarting them again. Um, all part of the fun of retro computing on this PDP-12. All right, thanks again, Dawson.